Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be getting into the reading today. Let's go ahead and jump straight in. Any information you need to book a reading from me will be listed below. Also, if you guys want to get a question answered, I go live every single day or every other day when I'm able to. Uh, and I do question readings where you guys can ask me a question for a small donation. So definitely subscribe to my emailing list if you want to get notified whenever I go. Libras, let's go ahead and jump straight into the reading. What's going on with my Libras? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, so the first two cards we have, we have the High Priestess as well as the Ten of Swords. Mm. So for a lot of you over the next couple of weeks, you could be finding yourself um, really wanting to speak your mind in regards to things that you've been harboring on, thinking about, holding back. You could find yourself in a more expressive mood where, let's just be honest, you could be wanting to put certain boundaries in place, especially if you feel like your person is constantly keeping secrets or is constantly doing things that consist of hiding things and ruining your level of trust for them okay this also speaks to you guys receiving a lot of spiritual guidance you could be just watching a lot more tarot readings or you could be doing a lot more readings for yourself or getting more readings um, than usual during this time frame and this could be putting a lot of doubt or stress or worry to bed whenever i see the ten of swords i don't see this as like a negative card per se um i mean it is a well it depends on the context but in this reading it's not negative it's speaking to a cycle of being caught up in your head being in this space of not being able to bounce back after some sort of betrayal or hurt or disappointment and with the high priestess i think that you guys are going to gain that courage and that willingness to bounce back after going through some things that have brought you to the ten of swords which is a a lower vibrational way of thinking hmm another thing i'm getting Hmm. You could be finding that your person is like secretly feeling some type of way about things um, and not really saying it. They could be thinking that certain aspects of the relationship is not working out and it comes out more so in their actions than out of their own mouth per se. So there could be a need for you and a partner to get on the same page. Nonetheless, let's keep going. We have the King of Cups. We have the Four of Swords. And the Tower. Hmm. So, looking at this... I think a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio may be of significance. Heavy Pisces energy, for one, I do see that. But in regards to the Zodiac sign, you could be needing some sort of advisor, especially if you're about to go into business or you do have a business. You could be needing a financial advisor or somebody who could advise you on like what to do on certain, like I said, financial matters within a business. You may even have somebody around you who may be willing to offer some sort of support in terms of your business, whether that's to work for you or to like offer you like some sort of financial advance. This could be like a business partner, um, your literal partner, like romantic partner. Okay. Spirit is also just in general asking you to have more so a balanced view, especially emotionally in order to kind of work through some sort of issues that may come up over the next couple of weeks. If you respond from a very emotional 
discombobulated way, then you're going to create more problems than any good if you're not careful. Also, yeah, you may have moments where the pressure's on a little bit emotionally. You could be more, like I said, emotionally prone or hold on, let me rephrase that. You could be more emotional, prone to have moments where you want to cry or, or, or speak your mind and whatnot, but there's a need for you to balance that energy out. Now, another thing I'm picking up on when it comes to your sleep schedule, it may be all over the place for the next couple of weeks. You could be having a lot of responsibilities that you need to take care of, almost to a point to where you feel like you're not be, being able to get rest or get things done, all the things that you may need to get done. You could even find yourself just needing to go into a space of recovery after some sort of like health issue or surgery. Recovery time could take a little bit longer. So definitely pace yourself. Don't overwork your body if you are going through any procedures in the near future. Hmm. This could also be stress. Some of you guys are just stressing about things that you can't control or stressing about things that have been revealed to you to not be as stable as you may have presumed it to be previously. Okay, spirit wants you to pay attention to the events that are taking place over the next couple of weeks because this is going to definitely put things in perspective for you, especially if you've been sitting back and contemplating for the most part. All right, let's go ahead and pull some more cards. What are the oracle cards my Libras need? All right, so we have you are experiencing spiritual blossoming. Take a new direction and be open to new experiences. Let's move this back a little bit. Leave your usual social circles behind. Seek out the, no, seek out true companions. And then we also have the time of guilt and shame ends now. Forgive yourself and begin to love yourself just as you are. So yeah, I think that you guys are going through spiritual elevation, especially with this being right up under the Ten of Swords. I think that you guys have been on the brink of this for a while now. It's just you needed to be sick and tired of being sick and tired in order to reach the spiritual blossoming, okay? And within the spiritual blossoming, you guys are going to find yourself interested in new things. This could be new hobbies, new concepts in terms of spirituality, all right. Also, in terms of the people that you surround yourself with, are you around a whole bunch of people who emotionally dump on you, carry a lot of drama, always try to suck you into certain drama filled situations, friends that you feel like don't support you? OK, it's OK to go out of your comfort zone and make new connections. And the last thing, but the most important, it's time for you guys to let go of this shaming yourself or beating yourself down for things that you've done recently or in your past because that does nothing for you in the now. Okay, be in a space of forgiving yourself and loving on yourself and also doing the same thing for people who have wronged you. I'm not saying take them back, but understand that people that have wronged you and even yourself are human at the end of the day. And in order for you to move forward and to, to make peace with it and not carry that resentment in your heart is to, for, to, to let go. But this is what I see. I do wish you the best of luck moving forward. And I will talk to my Libras in the next one. Bye.